I started figuring out more and more and more and more about at the other end of suffering is a life that no one, and I'm not talking about go out there and kill yourself. Don't take these words and flip them and say, oh my God, no. It just be uncomfortable. I call it Don't suffering. Don't physically injure yourself. Yes, not saying that. And then be out for six months. That's right. That's no good. That's no good. I'm not saying. I'm not saying do what I did. Yeah. I was in a spot that life forced me. I had a choice. I had a choice to be this guy or the guy that's in front of you. I had choices. I chose this path. And you're still choosing it. And I'm still choosing. You can it. go back to that guy no, any moment. Because I found out. I found out something with those stress fractures. I found out something through facing all these things. I found out a whole nother world, which is why I walk around with all my stuff in a black backpack. What trained me was that voice. And I'm not gonna go God on you right now, cause I don't care if people believe in God or not. That's not my place. I'm not here to judge you. You have your own life and your own things to deal with. This voice in my head guided me to a spot where I'm at today. And if you don't believe that you're here for a reason, your life will seriously hurt. And I start looking at my life and all the shit I went through as God put me, some God, whatever you believe in, put me here to go through this. And now I see all the hundreds of thousands of lives I'm changing by the hell I went through. There's a lot of power in that. So my purpose, as I started going through this journey, instead of looking at like, woe is me, God, man, why, why the fuck, man, why? why? I started looking at it as, it's the perfect training ground. You knew exactly what you were doing. You knew exactly what the fuck you were doing, obviously. You put me in every situation possible to tell a story that needed to be told. No matter how far you get in life, you have to be able to go back to scratch in your mind at a moment's notice. You can never get so far beyond scratch. Mm. What that means is when you accomplish something in life, if you want to go back to scratch and go back to that $7 a month place where I once lived and visit that place for a long period of time, if you were here, when you went back to scratch, you would now be here. Mm. Scratch is what makes you better. Scratch friction. Obstacles create growth. There's no friction when you're this far up in the game anymore. You think there right, is. The real, achieve, that's yeah. right. When you cheat so much, the friction is, is, is minor. Because why? I'm sore. I'm going to get a massage today. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat today. The refrigerator is always full. So your comforts are now. So your discomfort is now very minuscule to your discomfort back here in the $7 a month place. So you have to go back to the total discomfort to then raise your level of where you're at now. Mm. I'm not saying stay there and stay there. Visit. Visit it. And then you raise your level. I did. As, 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 as afraid of that, I mean, it was a very scary, scary road. A guy who was afraid of a lot of things to then find power in fear to find power in overcoming fear and to get to where I'm at today where there's very few things I'm really afraid of because I know how to control it. I know how to manage it. I know how to work it to my advantage now. It's, it's, it's something else, man. So I really challenge people to really do a live autopsy on your brain. And the reason why I talk about my childhood so much in this because I don't want you to put a title on me because once you title me as a freak, you now put yourself in a position where you can be very comfortable in saying, it's just not possible for me. Yeah. I, every day of my life, I believe in quiet. There's no growth outside of quiet. The, the world's too noisy. Your mind needs quiet for you to find who you are. People ask, what's my purpose? Why am I here? You're not gonna find it nowadays unless you lock yourself in a quiet room in your mind and find it. It's too noisy. For me, I could be in a busy street in New York City, horns honking, and I'm walking around with like nothing. It's me and myself yeah. in a quiet spot. And when you are constantly reflecting on who you are, where you've been, the journey you've gone through, the journey you can continue going through, 
the feeling's always there. You don't allow the world to pull you so fast that you forget. You don't allow yourself to pull you so fast that you forget. It's not about staying in that moment. It's about you want to get to the point where that feeling follows you like breathing. Mm. It becomes a part of your life, a part of your DNA. But it's made, like these calluses on my hands right now, they're made. Yeah. They are now on my brain. This is now a part of me. It's a daily process, a part of me. And that's the thing that makes me so pissed off in this world, man. The one thing that only thing gets me mad nowadays is that so many people die with untapped potential because they think that someone else is fucking better than them. And they were born, you know, not with the greatest tools. You don't need shit. You need the ability to fucking grind your ass into a fine fucking powder. And when you're in that fine powder, find a way to build that motherfucker back up repeatedly. And it's possible. I'm a 43-year-old man. I, I work with 27-year-old kids. Yeah. And I'm a rookie. Every day I'm a rookie, it feels like. And Why do you do it? That's why I do it, man. There's a story I'm going to tell you about why I do it. So I make, I have a good living now for me, where I'm at in my life. I was out on a fire in Colorado and we were digging fire line on this like 50% like it was like on the side of a daggone mountain Yeah. and we're trying to keep the fire from moving and we're digging this fire line 14 inches or my fault 18 inches wide 3 miles long 12 of us digging and it is the hardest work you make $12 an hour wow. okay <laughs> nothing you set up your shop like when you're done digging you just pretty much lay down you go to sleep and you get up you dig some more Really? This happens for two weeks long. What are you digging? It's like a hole. So, a you, so you're trying to get down to to a mineral source. So, so you're trying to get down to the to the earth. So, so that if that fire is moving, it can't burn dirt. Really? So you're it's moving fuels. Enough. Got it. You're, you know, so so not only are you digging, you're cutting down trees. It's hard work. But the moral of the story is, I'm 43. Don't need to do it at all. This is why I do. You're it. making money. Yeah. I'm making money. I'm the, I, I I I have a good life. I don't need to do it. It's all about giving back and training, uh -huh. but I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm not Yoda yet. What do you What do you still need to learn, and what are you still afraid of? Honestly, my my biggest fear to this day is, um, and I say it a lot, and I say it a lot, and it, it's 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 going to heaven and being judged by God, and you know God has. I, I believe that God has this knows everything about you from the time you're born when you're gonna be born when you're gonna die when you're gonna graduate buzz whatever's gonna happen to you he knows all this shit some people never do what god knows you're capable of doing because you keep you know we have choices my biggest fear in life was to was to get to heaven and god look at me as i'm being judged and i was some fat 300 pound guy like i used to be that still spray for cockroaches with a cock you know that's that's okay it's what you want to do i didn't want to do that and I made a thousand dollars, you know, a month. And I got to heaven and God laid out this chart in front of me. And he said, hey man, look at this chart. And it had my name on top and all this amazing shit. And I'm like, that's not, that's not me, man. He goes, that's who you were supposed to be. This 21 year old kid was out there and he wanted a pair of running shoes. So all he wanted was a pair of running shoes. 60, 70, 100 bucks, to whatever, you know, easy for yeah, us, yeah. 100 shoes. But he looked up at the mountain that we had been on for days digging this fire line. And he said, that would take me five or six hours of work to buy those shoes. He said, I'm not going to buy them. It's the perspective of life. Mm -hmm. That perspective of life right there, of that is the value that we lose. When things start to come so easy in life, it's the perspective that 21-year-old had. He looked up at that mountain and thought, he looked at his hands, he looked at the, at the amount of hours of pulling that Pulaski, that, that tool, and raking that ground, and, and then cutting those trees, and moving them, and that hours of work. He looked at his feet and said, these old shoes would do. Mm. It's that perspective in life that we lose. 
And that's that story that most people may not mean anything. It's that story I always want to have in my life. You cannot lose perspective of where you've come in life. My biggest fear in life is that one day if I ever get judged by something, someone, some, some energy force, that I go up there and I failed the mission. Whatever, whatever force up there thought I was supposed to be some badass and I went up there underachieved. You know, I want that force up there that knows everything to be writing as I'm living saying I had no fucking idea he even had this in him. Mm -hmm. So I want to just be the best I fucking can. And a lot of people say that, I truly mean that.